You're listening to Crowning Ignorant Kings, a podcast for citizens with light minds who love God, follow Christ, and have a desire to be an ambassador for the kingdom of heaven on earth. We are John and Charlene Donaldson. We're teachers building a kingdom community. Thank you again for joining us. Now let's adjust our crown. And I was just thinking that um, by him telling them these things, is like he can see where the focus is. You're so concerned about your life, what you're going to eat, drink, live, right. all these things that the focus is not on, you know, your right. purpose and the things of God and expanding God's kingdom in the earth. So when the, um, the gospel of the kingdom, which is the kingdom, Christ coming to inform them about the kingdom of God. Right. Uh, which he didn't come to inform them about the death, burial, and resurrection. That's not what I've been taught that that was the gospel, but the gospel is the kingdom of God because he tells them, but seek first. This is before anything else. This is what you go after, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his way of lining up and being in right standing with him so that you're in position to receive those things that you're entitled to as a citizen. Right. It's like in the natural, if I were to break a law, I have to deal with the consequences. Whatever consequences come with me breaking the law, I won't receive. Sometimes people lose their freedom. Right. Um, they may have to be incarcerated for a certain amount. It depends on whatever the crime is. Or a person may be fined where they have to pay money or they may get limited jail time on weekends or whatever. Or it depends on whatever uh, the situation was as to what your punishment or consequences are. So you kind of look at that with kingdom. You know, righteousness has something to do with um, the law. So it's like you had to really be in line. And I want to read something I kind of looked up. comes from, as you mentioned before, the discipline of the law. It's not a religion, and it implies right positioning. And I know by faith we've been declared righteous. You know, once you accept and confess Christ, you know, you're you're brought into right standing with him. Mm Mm-hmm. And it means to be in alignment with authority, right standing, right fellowship, correct fellowship, right relationship, to be in legal or lawful alignment. So the kingdom of God, there are laws or principles that govern his kingdom. And that's how you get all of the things that you need need. because righteousness is being in alignment or agreement with the, the principles, the law. Being in agreement and in line. You can't keep breaking all kind of principles right. and fail to put them in practice and think you're going to reap the consequences or the results. Basically, you have to um, put these things into practice. You have to practice the principles. You right. have to learn of my way, my thinking, and how I do things. All these things are guaranteed. Mm-hmm. But there's a way... To get it, yeah. To get how, because this is how we live. Right. He's telling you the process right there. All of this yeah. in the same passage. You said something that that's so good, and it made me think of something else that you used to say about when you're in pain, you tend to be selfish. The selfishness right. of the selfishness of pain. So if you're focused, if you're if you're distracted, and you're only focused on my house, my bills you know, my family, and you're focused on how I'm going to provide for this, this, and that, then you're distracted from your purpose out in the world Mm -hmm. and what you should be doing, and you're worried about your own provision. And then Jesus, you know, in the the verse when he's talking about, he says Gentiles, Mm -hmm. and you were asking this question a few days ago when we were talking about it. If he's coming with the initial teachings of the kingdom, he said the kingdom of God is within your reach. It's mm-hmm. right now. I'm right here, and I'm bringing the message about the kingdom. So I'm starting with the the house of Israel, mm-hmm. with the Jews, and anybody outside of that are Gentiles or outside of the kingdom lifestyle. So even now, we we said something about um, it's just a this mentality that you have that you got to do it for yourself. You gotta you know you gotta work out. 
I believe in working smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. So if God set a, a way for us to receive all of the things that we need without being out there struggling, mm -hmm. working for somebody for 65 years, and then, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, 60, now I can retire. No, no, baby. I want to be able to get it and enjoy life and to do those things earlier and sooner. Mm -hmm. But I, I wrote down, it's like, it's normal. We've made it so that it's normal in society to struggle for years and to work hard on a job or many jobs and because of our experiences or because we haven't taken on to the kingdom message the way that he intended mm -hmm. and we created this culture that you know all of these things you gotta do this and do that and do this and do that this is a young lady they were talking about you know we're, we're both teachers and we're working on creating a, a child care facility that is different than anything anyone else has seen. But the news last night, they were talking about, you know, uh, this young lady who is a daycare <laughs> worker. And then at night she works at Popeye's. So she's got two jobs working more than 80 hours a week struggling and still not getting everything that she needs mm -hmm. because we have this mentality that I'm responsible for myself. That I, if nobody else does it, I've got to do it because of, you know, our experiences, our culture, we've made it normal. But that's not what God intended. Mm -hmm. So then when we see things that are outside of normalcy, the way that God intended, we say, oh, that's a miracle. Mm -hmm. No, that's how it works in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's that's normal everyday life to him to in the kingdom. That's how it's supposed to be. But we call it a miracle. So. We're not supposed to struggle and suffer like that. But if we practice the principles and we keep that relationship with God, then mm -hmm. those things come easily. Because when he says, for all these things do the Gentiles seek, like I said, the, um, outside of the kingdom outside mindset. Outside of the kingdom mindset, the Gentiles who were not Jewish. But it doesn't mean that because you're not Jewish, you don't have rights to the kingdom of God. Right. But, that was um, just initially yeah, as he was... was uh, the seed started in Israel, but now the whole world has access yeah, to it. Yeah, because when you read in Romans, it talks about because of their disobedience, the Gentiles were grafted in. So they have a chance to partake. And the reason right. why God allowed that was to provoke jealousy in that culture. Right. To kind of shake them a little bit, not to be, to retaliate with evil, but to kind of say, oh, I want that too. Right. You know, so to speak, and to kind of, you know, get you to kind of find your way back right. to where a, you originally, yeah I, yeah. I forgot about that, that scripture. That's a good point. Because when, when when you first started and you were saying that, I was thinking his intent was never to cut us out yeah. or anybody that is that's not Jewish or not Hebrew. It wasn't that they they are his favorite like nobody else is yeah. valuable. But he started with that because of his promise to Abraham and his promise that I'm going to bless the whole world mm -hmm. through you and through your seed. But you knucklehead has been acting this certain way. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to set you guys aside right now till you get yourself together. And I'm going to work with all of these people who, you the know, Gentile nation who, they weren't right. Yeah, this is not their culture, but they have an opportunity. Right. They're practicing the principles. Like you yeah. said, the he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. If you do what you're supposed to do, you wonder why your boss is a millionaire or got all of these things and they living like hell. Mm -hmm. Because there's some areas where they're practicing principles, principles. that you're not practicing. Principles are not prejudice. It, not work, at all. They work for whomever will put them into practice. So they put them in practice, they're going to get the results. Right. So it's not like I'm a pick and choose. Oh, you don't live right, so I'm not going to yield to you. But it doesn't work like that. It's a principle. It's the results are locked in the principle. Right. That when you practice it, this is the result. It's automatic. It's yeah. not going to change. So whether it's the, the reward, the benefit, or the punishment, they're both already in the principle. So mm -hmm. whether, like you say, God is punishing me. And this is like, no, it, the word is right there. The rule is right mm -hmm. there. The law is right there. So if you practice it, you get the benefits and rewards. If you don't practice it, then you lose it or you, mm -hmm. you know, that's 
a, a, a form of death. Where you miss out on what you could enjoy because you don't practice the principles. And sometimes, I guess, people are not exposed and don't have an understanding of what it is. I really believe that even when you don't know and your heart is sincere and you're, you know, you're in communion with God daily and you're in His Word, God will, through some way, shape, or form, reveal something to you mm -hmm. to kind of let you know and put you on the right track to where you you want to go because he's letting you know he desire he wants you to have it right you know we're, we're supposed to be wealthy not just financially but spiritually mentally emotionally physically wealthy and healthy because that wealth financial wealth is to be shared with other people you know the common wealth of people the community there should be nobody in this world that's lacking because there's a certain group of people who have so much money and they practice principle they did certain things right. and people we look at you know oh they don't need all that money and this hey that may be true they don't really need all of that money right. to live off of right. because they have so much money that they start doing little foolish things with it you know yeah. like when you say they practice all the principles yeah, <laughs> but they don't in, practice all of them in certain so areas they miss out on the moral yeah. ones like uh, giving and <laughs> yeah Thank you for listening to Crowning Ignorant Kings, where we are cultivating a kingdom community. Please sign up for our podcast, download, like, and share. Look for us on your social media platforms. If you'd like to reach out to us, please send us an email at crowningignorantkings at gmail.com.